Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a the lymphatic vessels and nodes of the abdominal cavity and the pelvis and um, lay like colon if you already didn't know that. Um, the mnemonic goes, it's a short one, it's London calls tourists indefinitely. If you've watched my previous video um, about the lymphatic vessels at the extremities, it would be easier for you. Uh, I've only mentioned the main nodes here, the main structures in this mnemonic. So make sure to see my last video to uh, make it easier for you to remember the other lymph nodes. So first we're going to start with the abdomen. And then we'll move on to the pelvis. Okay, all right. Let's write L C T, and I is over here. Lumbar lymph nodes, cisterna, chile, and thoracic duct. Okay, and the pelvis would be the iliac lymph nodes. Okay, all right. So again, we've got superficial and deep. Uh, we've got superficial. The superficial one, uh, you know, the navel. So navel or the umbilicus. Above the navel, it drains into the axillary lymph nodes which I mentioned in the upper one and um, upper extremity video and below the navel it drains into the superficial inguinal lymph node which I mentioned in the lower extremity video then we go to deep there are three the thoracic ones obviously will go to the para sternal lymph nodes then lumbar lymph nodes and external iliac lymph nodes okay then from the gastrointestinal tract the organs where do they go they go to the pre aortic lymph nodes if you watched my uh, sympathetic nervous system video, it'll be easy for you to remember. We have celiac, superior, and inferior mesenteric lymph nodes. And all of them, everything drains into the thoracic duct it's a very important structure guys okay so the lumbar from the lower part of the body everything and even from the upper it drains into the lumbar lymph nodes which drain into the cisterna chile which drains into the thoracic duct i'll show you a picture in a bit uh, that is it for the abdomen then we move on to the pelvis for the pelvis you need to remember iliac lymph nodes and also inguinal which i mentioned in my last video on the lower extremities so we've got inguinal lymph nodes as well okay so we've got superficial and deep first the deep part of the perineum so the deep part of perineum it drains into internal iliac lymph node the superficial tissues of the penis and the clitoris they end in the superficial inguinal no, lymph nodes and the last one just take the complete opposite of this one you go to the glands penis the deeper ones uh, the more sensitive ones, the glands, clitoris, 
the labia, etc. They all drain into the opposite internum with the external iliac lymph node and the opposite of superficial would be the deep inguinal lymph node. And that is it. Obviously from the external is deep, it goes to the lumbar. The deep one goes to lumbar. All of these pelvis ones goes to lumbar. Lumbar will go to cisterna. Cisterna will go to thoracic duct. So the entire lower body is gone, drained here. Then the left side of the upper body is also drained to thoracic duct. So this is the big guy here, which is important. And so is cisterna chile and lumbar. Because through these two, everything ends in the thoracic duct. From the axillary lymph nodes, obviously it goes to the thoracic duct if it's on the left side. And if it's on the right side, it goes to the, where does it go? It goes to the right lymphatic duct. see the inguinal lymph nodes they go to the lumbar lymph nodes and which goes to the cisterna chile and then we've got the thoracic duct which goes to the left venous angle between the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein then from the you see the red bit that's the area drained by the right lymphatic duct which goes to the right lymphatic duct which goes to the right subclavian vein so that's the right venous angle if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you